What's up guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are not already subscribed, you guys already know the deal. Hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can be notified for whenever I upload. So today I have a little secret to tell you guys. You know, I didn't really want to talk about it. I didn't really want to make a video on it, but you guys have been asking. And I feel like it's only right that I keep it real. So, I've been wearing a half wig. A half wig. What you say? I've been wearing a half wig in a lot of my videos and my pictures, and you guys are all like, girl, your hair is long. I'm like, I know. But a lot of you guys already know that it is a half wig as well, especially if you follow me on my vlog channel because I did mention it here and there. So yeah, let's just hop into the video now that my secret is revealed. How to wear a half wig to make it look real AF. All right, so the half wig that I've been wearing is the Outre Quick Weave Peruvian and it's in the color DRB30-1. So that's why it gives me that little um, kind of like an ombre sort of, not really kind of effect. But they also have like 1, 1B, all the other colors as well. And this pretty much matches my hair perfectly in terms of like the texture of it because it kind of looks like my hair when it's in a braid out or a twist out. So that's why people be thinking it's my real hair. And I just wanted to say yes so bad. <laughs> But yeah, this is the wig that I've been wearing. I will link it down below on where you can um, get this. It's fairly, fairly, fairly cheap. Like, I already probably bought like three of these already. So yeah. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's um, not fresh out of the package. I probably had this. I had this since I was in Europe. So it went through some times together with me. It's kind of naughty. It's frizzy. It's not exactly how it looked out of the package. When you first get this, it's super soft and shiny. But I feel like when it's more frizzy like this, it's kind of more realistic, even though it is kind of annoying and it gets matted in the back. But that's okay. It still works. So just a disclaimer, this is the only wig that I own. My channel is not going to turn into me doing wig reviews and all this type of stuff. This is the only wig I own and I wear it because I travel so much. And the hassle of doing your natural hair while traveling, especially when you're on the go, 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 is super annoying so having this half wig is just so much easier for me and I know I can put my hair in braids or twists but I like my hair to be out and curly because I feel like that's most like myself I feel most like myself when my hair is out and curly so braids and twists are just they don't really do it for me but when I have this bad boy it looks so much like my hair that I feel like you know this is mine like I feel like me so I like that it's very versatile and I can just take off the wig whenever I want to and wear my own hair depending on however I feel like I can do both and it still looks like my hair so yeah that's just a disclaimer all right so how to make your half wig look real AF so first of all you want to make sure that the hair pretty much matches how your hair looks now as you can see I have like a little bit of brown blonde in my hair so people do think it's mine obviously you want to get something that's pretty much close to the same length as your hair because if you end up with short really short hair but your hair is long or vice versa people are gonna know it's not your hair so make sure that the hair looks something somewhat like your hair so people think it's yours and you think it's yours too and then obviously make sure to get something that is close in texture to your hair this sort of looks like my braid outs and my twist outs so it matches perfectly so number two is blending and obviously if the hair looks somewhat like your hair blending is going to be so much easier so i'm going to show you guys a couple ways on how i blend my hair with this half wig to make it look real so the first style is this half style, which is super easy to do, and I also do this with my real hair. I'm pretty much just going to section off the front section of my hair, and it does not have to be me, as you can see. And I'm just going to tie it up while I work on the back. So I'm just going to put my hair into two chunky braids. You can make them smaller if you want, if you want your hair to lay flatter, but I had no time. So I'm just going to take my netted wig cap or cap, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to put that over the back section of my hair. And as you can see, I left the front out. So this wig has two combs. It has a big comb in the front and then one small one in the back. And it also has elastic, elastic band so you can tighten it if you want to. So I'm just going to snap that wig on, make sure it's nice and secure. Sometimes I also like to add bobby pins. And as you can see, it's looking hella crazy and it's time to blend it. So I'm just going to take that front section of my hair and put it into a nice high ponytail. So once that's complete, as you can see, it pretty much blends in with my hair. So I'm just going to 
fluff it out a bit and get my edges and I'm good to go. I'm able to easily style my hair in less than 10 minutes. So this next style is the style that I wear most frequently with this wig. I just think it looks so bomb. And it's pretty much the same technique as the first style with leaving the hair out in the front. But I had to take off the wig in order to do this. So the bun would just look a lot better. So I'm pretty much just going to wrap my hair around into a nice size bun. A fun size one. And then I'm just going to apply my wig. So there's really not much you have to do to it after this, but I like to take a piece from the back and just wrap it around the bun so the hair is more secure, it doesn't fall off, and just so it blends better, as you can see. And then of course I'm just going to slick my edges and my baby hairs because that always makes everything look a lot more natural and just blended. So this next style is how I wear my wig when I wear it all out, which is rare. So pretty much all of my hair is in the wig cap except for the front portion. I just left a little bit out right there and I created a side part. So as you can see, my hair is looking crazy. So I'm just going to twist the hair that I left out and I'm going to use a bobby pin to pin it down right by my ear. And then I'm going to take some of the curls from the wig and just let that fall over that piece so it kind of blocks it out. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the next side. So because my hair is kind of puffy at the top, I'm just going to take my edge control and my little brush. And I'm just going to slick my edges and lay my hair down. And I did have to apply another bobby pin to lay my hair even flatter. So do what you got to do to make it work. And that is it. Super easy. Let's go now, I'm gonna release baby. You. We just stopped in our section, the baby section. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Yeah, I just seen the cutest little baby yesterday. She was so cute. Made me have baby fever, but that ain't happening. But let's go explore, baby. Let's go. Yeah, like they don't think. Huh?